time again to dip into our paleo mailbag. Our latest question comes from Duke Bruce Thompson, who asks, have we found soft dino tissue inside fossils or not? If so, have we extracted dino DNA from it or not? Well, a couple of years ago, there were a lot of headlines about a discovery made by Mary Schweitzer in her lab of a Tyrannosaurus rex soft tissue that came out of a femur. Now, what does soft tissue really mean in this case? Well, it's not skin or muscle or anything quite like that. It's the degraded remnants of what uh, soft tissue that was inside that bone over 66 million years ago. So it's the equivalent of if you took a cheeseburger and you buried it and you left it for about 66 million years and someone came along and they found just this mess, this slurry of degraded protein that's more or less what they're finding in this. This isn't, you know, exactly like Tyrannosaur muscle that they're digging up, or you know, uh, red blood cells as has been uh, erroneously been reported. It's uh, the degraded remnants of proteins, collagen, the flexible stuff that's in our bones, the flexible stuff that's in other parts of our bodies. They've got a few proteins from that. Now, unfortunately, DNA degrades too quickly to be preserved in these fossils. DNA has a half-life. DNA only lasts once it starts to decay for about six million years before it's totally gone. So dinosaurs are way, way too old to actually get DNA from. Nonetheless, by studying these uh, biological molecules that remain in some of these fossils, in exquisitely preserved fossils, we can learn new things about dinosaur biology and how they're related to each other. So even though it's not quite Jurassic Park, it's still quite exciting.